Alright guys, welcome to another recap video. Uh, I'm going to try to do these as much as possible. I can't guarantee that I'm going to do them every day, but when I have time, I'll go ahead and pop in here and try to make a quick video for you guys. So today, I gave profit back. I was actually up $400 on the day, um, 400 and something. Um, my big trades were on ATR. So I started off the day, and my very first trade was right here. It was a dip off the VWAP uh, with the strong volume on the previous candle. So I bought in right here and took most of it out there and then took most of it out the second half there. So at that point, I was up $261 on the day. And you could see that was within the first five minutes of market open. So after that, I didn't touch anything for 10, 15, 20 minutes. Um, I had this little flag pattern drawn out. <clears throat> so it broke down below it and then strong volume came up. So I figured we could have a continuation since buyers really stepped in. Uh, one of my uh, guys, my members on my trade, um, we were watching the break and we both called this out right here. And we both left it alone. So we uh, didn't even jump on this retest of that trend. Um, and then three kind of small candles, green candles, so it didn't really move. So I left this move alone completely. But when I started seeing that it was going up to pre-market highs, which was actually uh, post-market yesterday right there at 547, is this horizontal line right here. That's when I decided, okay, this, this is strong volume. Now we can get a break. So I bought in right there. Um, I was still up 261, so now I'm going into another trade here. I actually did not stick this out for this move. I stopped out a little bit. I actually, um, sorry, so I bought in here. Nothing happened. I actually down, uh, averaged up here, so I bought a little more and fully took it out right there. I didn't really, uh, didn't really think it was going to keep moving, so I got out of that trade. A minute too late, a um, minute too early, it would have worked in my favor. So I missed all of this move completely. Um, at that point, I was down like 300 and something dollars. Um, I lost money on that. And then I came back and had one small trade either here or this one. One of those two where I made back like $60 or something like that. So it was a quick trade. After that, I got off because I got off at 10, uh, 9.50. So it was this candle right there. There you go. So I ended up making back 50 or $60 on that. And therefore, I finished this stock at 267 But I traded this one a lot. You can see I traded 37,000 shares. Um, so I was green, made a little more, and then lost it all. But on the other hand, I got one trade also on VERU. Um, this one I wasn't that interested. You could see that on our chart we're pretty pretty low from yesterday and all that stuff so I wasn't very interested it wasn't like ATR where you have a pre-market high really close but on this one I took one trade and this one I was actually explaining it on my live as it was happening so we have this right here this little top so you have a top of wicks and you have a top of candles you see how all the candles body candles are closing below that so I saw this move here. I actually got in on this break and stopped out real quick. And I told them, I was like, these candles are closing below uh, the same point, which is 1188. That means that the second we get a breakout, sellers are coming in and pushing it right back down and taking control of it. So I tried it once or twice, um, and the, those candles kept coming back down. So I said, I'm not doing this again. Um, I'm not going to chase this breakout for a high of day here, so, you know, for a high of all day for today so the next candle right here where we picked the volume and you have a bigger candle I bought in right before where the candles are closing um, hoping to at least get a test of here and at that point I said because of all this rejection I don't expect it to break out so I'm gonna take my profit real quick at those at those wicks so I bought in here I sold half right there and in case it did something like this I kept half but that candle immediately got rejected and immediately bounced right below the 1188.87 um, resistance again. So I immediately closed it. Um, after that, I even told them that at this point, uh, you will not see a move higher because you have all of these candles closing below. So we did get a move down as expected. And then you get a strong volume. So you volume coming up and you finally get that break. But still, still wasn't enough that sellers took control of it again. And this level keeps playing out. For example, this level right here is the same one that is struggling to get above. 
the same two that are struggling up here same one it broke out it has to have strong volume for it to actually go through that level and then it goes right back down in the same level um, you see that same respected uh, area right here breaks above it retest and then flies um, so that's why it's important to, to uh, draw your resistance and support lines. So, but those were the only two stocks I traded. I missed a really big trade on BFRI. Um, one of my members called it out. And when I say members, I'm not saying um, they pay to watch me. So everything is free on Tradecaster.com. You can uh, look it up on the website and watch me trade for free. So they called out the news here, the FDA approval. This stock opened up immediately like a dollar higher, so at 47. Now, I knew that this stock had a previous high of 581. So, if we go back, let me erase all these so you can see. There, there. Is this the high? Yeah, 581. So, let me mark that one and then take this one away for you guys. So, we had that high of 581. So, when that candle opened below it, I said and it started going up I said we're definitely gonna break that 581 581 is gonna be broken and you're gonna get a new high so I this halt first of all for example you could see it was a 910 and this candle opened up at 930 so that was a 20 minute halt that is the only reason why I didn't jump in this trade here when that candle opened and it started squeezing I said I'm gonna buy I wanna buy but this is gonna get halted and it's gonna go above 581 I don't want to sit here for 20, 30 minutes. Um, you don't know how long it's going to take since the first one was a 20-minute halt. I don't want to. I don't want to sit here and wait for that. Um, all that stuff, you know. Especially if it's one that waits a long time and then gaps down. If I was to be wrong, but um, somehow this only lasted the correct. Oh, actually, it was a 10-minute halt still. So from 9:31 to 9:41, so 10-minute halt again. But you got that move, and then obviously everybody that bought here and that bought here is, are going to start taking their profits. That's the target you wanted. So everybody took profit, and there was no continuation. But I am kind of mad at myself. I didn't take that one, um, but that was for sure would have been a very risky play. So that's it for today, guys. So um, one lesson that I wanted to kind of kind of quickly explain is. If you're agreed on the day and uh, you have 400, 500 uh, profit like I was, and then you start giving back, um, but you actually give it all back. So if you're uh, if you're green and you start taking profit away and you're still green, I would walk away. It's easier to walk away and you say, oh, I still have some money on the line. That's fine. But when you go completely red, that's when your mentality and your emotions start getting into you. Um, that's when you're like, oh my god, I was up 500 and now I'm down, like I'm actually red. So let me just try to get back to break even or, or make some money. That's when you either have to stop or just downsize or something. So today I was green. Um, I started feeling anxious, not anxious, kind of upset. I had some terrible trades here. Um, bad fills on my side with the market orders and then this play where I, I was right about it, breaking that level. But... I was wrong in executing it, so I got out too early, so I lost on that one. So at this point, I was frustrated, and I knew if I was going to keep trading, I was just going to lose more. Yeah, I could have made some more on this move here. I could have uh, turned her back to a green day and been positive, but I know that most oftentimes I'm going to lose money before I make money once I start getting upset. So that's part of day trading. That's part of being a successful day trader as well. Uh, you will make money sometimes, but most of the times you might lose it and you might go red more. And that's how I had some of the big losses I've had in my career. So thank you guys for watching. If you're still liking these uh, little video recaps, things, um, So make sure to like, subscribe, and let me know any questions you have, any video ideas you want me to do. Um, so thank you for watching, guys.